Good afternoon all, welcome to another video on the Scout. Uh, it's not a flying video today, it's another um, sort of a bit of a how-to video and it's going off the back of a recent video which I posted about my battery um, inaccuracy. And in, in, in short terms, I'll make it as, as brief as possible, there appears to be um, a slight issue with the um, voltage reading from the Scout and I think I've cured what potentially is the problem. So if you follow these instructions, um, hopefully uh, you'll be able to potentially fix the problem and not do what I did, which was basically fly the Scout to a much lower voltage. Um, I've pretty much now got it back to showing 25 volts at the start of the flight. So, um, yeah, so what you're going to need is you're going to need your USB cable and we're going to remove the battery again and we're going to plug the USB into the Scout and connect it all up to the laptop. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to adjust some settings via Mission Planner um, on your laptop or PC. So uh, a little quick video and I'll show you how to do it. So first things first, we need to uh, load Mission Planner. Um, there's a link in the description below on what to download and how to download it. So if we load up Mission Planner, Bear in mind you've already got your Scout um, connected um, and we're pretty much ready to go. Um, hopefully you'll be a bit up on um, connecting your Scout via the USB and everything like that. Okay, so as this loads, here we go. Up at the top right hand corner here we need to connect up the Scout to the software. So that's downloading all the um, information from the Scout, all the settings that it's got on there at the moment. Okay, which it's done. Now, if we go into configuration, full parameter list, down here, battery voltage, Malt. Now, um, this is the figure that you need 5.223527. If it's showing anything else other than that, you potentially might have a slight issue with the reading like I was. So you will double click into that and you can literally type what you want in there. Uh, or in this case you shouldn't, uh, 5.223527. Click write parameters and that will write the parameter to the Scout. And then all you do is just disconnect it. That's it. Now hopefully, if it's like mine, that will have changed it. Um, and now I'm getting a full 25 volts uh, at the start. Uh, that's displaying on my transmitter. Um, so that's what you need to look for. Um, that's the issue, so to speak. So, yeah, that's the video. Um, and I hope it's some use to you. Um, some people might not have this problem, Other others might do. Um, but uh, I wanna thank Jeffrey Chan for pointing this out to me um, and I've been able to do that and get my scout back into its what it should be its normal um, working voltage so to speak so yeah thanks for watching and we'll have another video soon